Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. One of the best kept secrets in the dairy industry is the infection of their foods with viruses. Not just dairy, but also the other livestock industry. But I think dairy is most notable because they present themselves as lily white clean. But actually dairy is really dirty food. I mean, it gets uh, recalled by the USDA and the FDA. It gets recalled uh, because of infection with uh, salmonella and listeria and uh, E. coli and various kinds of infections of these animal foods. As a matter of fact, uh, dairy foods are the most commonly recalled of all foods. But one of the best kept secrets in dairy foods is the infection with viruses like bovine AIDS virus. It's actually officially bovine immunodeficiency viruses and also bovine leukemia viruses. Yeah, bovine leukemia viruses. Now we've known about this since 1969 that these viruses have been present in cattle. But of course the uh, the USDA and the cattle industry, they don't worry about this. I mean, after all, just cow viruses. Why would we worry about cow viruses when it comes to people? Well, these cow viruses uh, can be transferred easily to other animals like goats, sheep, and chimpanzees. In a study published in the early 1970s when they fed uh, chimpanzees cow's milk, what they found is of the six young chimpanzees within a year, two developed leukemia. Uh, if you look worldwide and also nationwide, uh, where people consume the most dairy, they have the most leukemias and lymphomas. And people who work with uh, dairy cattle a lot, like butchers and uh, veterinarians and dairy farmers, they have a higher rate of leukemias and lymphomas. Well, again, the uh, food industry has discounted this as not important because they couldn't show these bovine cow leukemia viruses in people. Well, that was up until uh, uh, 2003 when at Berkeley they took and looked at people, people on the street, about 265 people they looked at, they examined their blood and they found that about 74% of them had been infected with bovine leukemia viruses. And is uh, this important to be infected with bovine leukemia viruses? Well, nobody really knows for sure, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to feed your child a tall, cool glass of leukemia viruses and uh, for example, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't leave your kitty cat unimmunized from feline leukemia virus, would you? I mean, there is concern that these viruses can be dangerous and they really should be called to the public attention and they should be gotten out of the food. How often are the dairy foods contaminated? Well, 89% of the herds in the United States are contaminated with bovine leukemia viruses. And if you look at vats of milk, well, vats of milk from a lot of cows, 100% of the milk is infected. So plan on it you're going to get exposed and your family is going to get exposed to these viruses. And I consider them of serious consequence. I'm Dr. John McDougall.